Grace here. Happy New Year! So excited that you've been joining us on our journey to Christ. Now we have been digging deep into God's Word, learning about how we can draw closer to Him and learn more about Him and develop that BFF, bestie relationship. This week is the same thing. How can we get closer to Christ? But I think I need to get one of my friends to help us out. Um, I'm wondering who it's going to be. Let me think. Who, how do I even get them out here? Wait. What's wrong with you? Well, I can't come up with a New Year's resolution. I mean, I'm pretty strong already. And I got good grades. And I eat pretty healthy. Well, except for the daily dose of chocolate. But, okay. So what's the problem then? Well, everybody says New Year. New me, but I can't be a new me if I don't know how to be a new me. <laughs> wow, Georgia, I think we actually need to get into God's word a little bit because there's a story about a man that Jesus talked to about how he could be the best new me he could be. Do you want to learn that story? Sure. You might already know it, but you know what that means. Hey, hey kids, get your soul! Oh, hey, we got him! Hey kids, we got ours. Do you have yours? We're going to be turning into the book of Luke, Luke chapter, chapter 18, starting in verse 18, 18 to 27. So find your Bibles, get your parents to help you. You might have to push pause. Okay, do you got it? No? All right. This is a story about a man in the Bible, but Georgia, I think we gotta get ready. So boys and girls, we're gonna be back in two, two seconds. seconds. See you soon. Hey friends, I think what Georgia needs to learn is how Jesus can be her number one. There's probably one thing that we all can learn this week. So I want you to get ready yourselves. I want you to be thinking about what's the one thing that we can do to draw closer to Jesus. A certain rich ruler asked Jesus, Good teacher, what do I have to do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother. All these things I've done since I was a boy. When Jesus heard this, he said to him, You still lack one thing. Sell everything you have and give it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, he became very sad because he was a man of great wealth. Jesus looked at him and said, how hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. Indeed, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Those who heard this then asked, who then can be saved? Jesus replied, what is impossible with men is possible with God. Friends, here's the thing. There was this man in the Bible that Jesus spoke to, and he asked him to give up something so that he could follow Jesus too. So he could follow him with his whole heart. Do you remember what that was? Yeah, he was a good man, but there was one thing, one thing that Jesus needed him to do in order to make it into heaven. Now, let me be clear. Jesus does not give us this list of things in order to do to get into heaven. There is no to-do list that you need to check off. Jesus knows me and you. And he knew that this wealthy man was being held back by his many possessions. Wealth? Wealth was his one thing. The one thing that was keeping him from Jesus. What do we need to do to ensure that we can give ourselves all to Jesus? How can we make time daily to put God first? Is there one thing holding you back? I get it, Mom, I get it! Awesome! What do you get? That we don't 
have to have one thing that we need to do. We have to have all things that we need to do for God. That's right. You know, maybe there is one thing that's holding us back from following Jesus with our whole heart. You know what? Maybe, boys and girls, you aren't a follower of Jesus yet or moms and dads because you don't want to give up your one thing, your sin, and repent. If you do nothing this new year other than this one thing, you've already accomplished so much in 2021. Verse 27, it says that nothing is impossible with God. Jesus does not want us to do that one thing all on our own. And by our own strength, he knows we cannot do it on our own, but we need his help. Ask Jesus for help to give you your one thing. Maybe you need to push pause at home right now and talk to your family or your leaders or someone that loves Jesus about what that one thing is for you. We're going to pray that God would show you what that one thing is this year so you can have a relationship with him. So you can have a closer relationship with him, maybe. Or maybe it's to start a brand new relationship with him. None of us can give up our one thing all on our own, you know? But we do. We need to give everything to him. George, I didn't think about it like that. But that ruler was missing out on one important part because he cared more about his wealth and drawing close to Jesus. What do we need to help us every day? Because you know what? Maybe your one thing isn't money. Maybe your one thing is sports or hockey or um, school or friends or boyfriends. I don't know. But your one thing can't keep you from Jesus. Boys and girls, count down with us. Five, four, three, two, one. Heavenly Father, we come to you, Papa God, with expectant hearts for what the year 2021 has. We are thankful that you have a new plan for us and that you want to help us figure out what that one thing is that's keeping us away from you, God, that we need to draw close to you. That today, Lord, we would be smarter than that young rich ruler, that we would be able to put away the things that are keeping us from you, Jesus, and focus on you, that we could draw close to you that even today, as people are in their homes or cars or watching, that you would speak to them. That if they haven't been able to give up their sin and repent, that even now, they would repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for today. Thank you for the new year. Thank you for the new year. That you've given it to us. That you've given it to us. Help us start it on the right foot. Help us start it on the right foot. That we would say yes to you. That we would say yes to you. That you would be our one thing. That you would be our one thing. That we would pursue. That we would pursue. Forgive our sins. Forgive our sins. Help us when we mess up. Help us when we mess up. So we can draw closer to you. So we can draw closer to you. We know we're not alone. We know we're not alone. You've got this. You've got this. And you've got us. And you've got us. We love you. We love you. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Friends, we're so excited. Yeah, we should be having a party and celebrating. This is the best thing that can happen, boys and girls. Mom, you know what? I'm excited for this new year. Are you? It doesn't matter how bad it's going to be or how good it's going to be. Jesus is just going to help me get stronger, even though I already am. <laughs> you are very strong, but you're right. We can't do this alone. We need to rely on Jesus for his strength every day. So what's your one thing? We know that we want to pursue God with all we got. So what do you got to give up so that you can draw closer to him? Boys and girls, have an amazing week. And remember, God, God bless you.